everyone. For today's lesson and mega, we are going to discuss about chapter 10, Mechanical Waves and Sound, which covers subtopic 10.1, Properties of Waves, 10.2, Superposition of Waves, 10.5, Doppler Effects. All the questions that we are going to discuss will refer to the facts question chapter 10. Ten point one properties of waves. There are three equations that we will use in this subtopic. Number one is a wave equation, also known as displacement of a progressive wave. The equation is y as a function of x and t equals a sine omega t plus minus kx, where y is displacement, a is amplitude. Omega, angular frequency, T, time, K, wave number, and X, position. Okay. Angular frequency equals to 2 pi over T equals to 2 pi F, while K, wave number, equals to 2 pi over lambda. The next equation is velocity of particle vibrational. That is the velocity of the particle along the a wave given as v equals a omega cos omega t plus minus kx next is the speed of the wave given as v equals to f lambda question 10 b the vertical position y of a particle along x axis under periodic vibration is described by the equation y equals 0 0.3 sine pi in bracket t over 3 plus 4x close bracket where x and y are in meters and t in seconds. Determine the amplitude, angular velocity and wave number. Calculate the period and wavelength. Calculate the vertical position of the particle at x equal to 0 0.6 meters when t equal to 3 seconds. Calculate the wave propagation velocity. Okay, from the given equation, y equal to 0 0.3 sine pi t over 3 plus 4x. Alright, so we write again. So y equals to 0 0.3 sine okay, t over 3 times pi. So pi over 3t plus 4 times pi x. And then you put bracket here. Okay, and then we compare with general equation of progressive wave. Y equals to A sine omega t plus kx. Alright, determine the amplitude. Amplitude means A. So, A equals to, look at this equation, 0 0.3 meters. Okay, next, angular velocity. Angular velocity is omega. So, omega equals to, okay, look at this equation, you compare, so we'll get pi over 3 radian per second. Okay, and wave number, wave number is k. Uh, look at the equation, k equals to, k equals to 4 pi per meter. Okay, next, calculate the period, t in wavelength. Alright, t first, period. We can get period from omega. Omega is pi over 3. So, omega equals to pi over 3. But the formula for omega is 2 pi over t equals to pi over 3. Okay, so from here, we get t equals to, you rearrange, to equal, t equals to 2 pi 3 over pi. So, from here you get 6 seconds. Okay, next, wavelength. Wavelength means lambda. Lambda you can get from k, the value of k. Alright, so k equals to 4 pi. And the formula for k is uh, 2 pi over lambda equals to 4 pi. Alright, and then from here you get lambda equals to pi over 4 pi so you can cancel a pi here 
So 2 over 4, you get 1 over 2 means 0 0.5 per unit meter. Okay, 0 0.5 meters. Okay, next, calculate the vertical position of the particle at x 0 0.6 meters when t equal to 3 seconds. So, in this case, but vertical position means the value of y. So, you substitute these two values into this equation. So, y equals to 0 0.3 sine omega is pi over 3. Okay, t is 3 plus uh, 4 pi and x is 0 0.6. So, you calculate, you get negative 0 0.29 meters. Okay, next, lastly, calculate the wave propagation velocity, means V. So, V equals to F lambda equals to lambda over T. So, lambda is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by t is 6. So, you calculate, you get 0 0.083 meter per second. So, since this is velocity, so what is the direction of the wave? Look at this general equation. You have plus here means uh, the velocity move to the left. Question 20. A progressive wave propagates towards positive x direction with a velocity of 5 meters per second. The amplitude and wavelength are 15 millimeters and 40 centimeters respectively. Determine the wave equation. B. Calculate the vibrational speed of a particle at a position x 0.5 cm at time t 0.2 second. Okay, for question A, wave equation, general equation for wave equation is y equals to A sine omega t. Okay, since the wave propagates towards positive x direction, so here is negative kx. So we have to substitute the value of A, omega and k. Alright, the value of A is... Amplitude, 15 millimeters, 15 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. Okay, omega. So, in this case, we have to find our frequency. So, from formula, V equals to F lambda. So, F equals to V over lambda. So, V here is 5. Lambda is 40 cm. 40 cm means 40 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So you get 12.5 Hz. And find out omega. Omega equals to 2 pi F. So 2 pi F. F is 12.5. So calculate, you get 25 by radian per second. Okay, next k. k equals to 2 pi over lambda. So, 2 pi over lambda, lambda is 40 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So, you calculate k, you get k equals to 5 pi per meter. Okay, substitute into this equation. So, you get the wave equation as y equals 15 times 10 to the power of negative 3 sine 25 pi t minus 5 pi x where y and x in meters t in second. Okay, next for b. For b, okay, we want to calculate vibrational speed. So, formula v equals to e omega cos 
omega t minus kx. Substitute all the values. E is 15 times 10 to the power negative 3. Omega is 25 pi. Cos 25 pi t is 0 0.2 minus k is 5 pi x is 0 0.5 times 10 to the power negative 2 so you calculate you will get negative 1.17 meter per second Ten point two superposition of waves. Okay, under this subtopic, you have to know the equation of standing wave. Y equals to two e cos kx sine omega. Next, the shape of standing wave. Okay, means the graph of displacement y against distance x. Here is y displacement against distance x. From this shape of standing wave. Here we know that here is maximum displacement means anti naught, zero displacement means not anti naught, not anti naught, not anti naught, and not. From this shape of graph, we know the distance between anti naught and not is given by lambda over 4, and the distance between two consecutive knots is lambda over 2 and double distance of two consecutive knots is lambda okay next is amplitude formula amplitude formula is given by y equals to 2a cos kx from this equation or from this amplitude formula we can determine the amplitude for each particle Depends the value of x. x here refer to the position of the particle. 3a, two identical waves are traveling towards each other as shown below. y1 equals to 5 sine 2 over 5 pi t plus 2 over 3 pi x. y2 equals to 5 sine 2 over 5 pi t minus 2 over 3 pi x. Where y1 and y2 and x are in meters and t in seconds. 1. Write the equation of the stationary wave and level symbols used. 2. Determine the particle's amplitude and x equal to 2.6 meters of the stationary wave. Okay, number 1. Number 1 is write the equation of the stationary wave. Okay, the equation is given by y equals 2a cos kx sine omega t okay and what is y y okay we have to uh, label the symbol use okay uh, y is what is y y is displacement okay y displacement okay and then 2a what is 2a 2a is amplitude amplitude Okay, amplitude of standing wave. Uh, okay, standing wave. Okay, and then K is wave number. Wave number. Okay, and then uh, X is position. Position of particles. Position of particles. Okay, and then omega. Omega is angular frequency. Okay, and then T. T is time. Alright, and then we substitute all the values here into this equation of standing wave. Okay, so I write here. Okay, so Y equals to okay, 2A. To a, where is A here? This one is A, right? Uh, the same A. Okay, so 2 times 5. Okay, and then cos K. Uh, this one is K. This is K, right, guys? K. This is K. K. 
Okay, and then I will write 2 over 3 pi x. Okay, and then sine omega t. Sine omega. This one is omega. This is omega. Okay, so omega is 2 over uh, 5 pi t. Okay, and then this one, uh, you simplify y equals to 10 cos 2 over 3 pi x sine uh, 2 over 5 pi t. Uh, that is the equation for standing wave. Alright, and then number 2. Okay, number 2. Uh, determine the particles amplitude x at, uh, amplitude at x equal to 2.6 meters of the stationary wave. You are given the value of x, uh, the position of the particle. Okay, so here we use amplitude formula. Uh, the amplitude formula is given by y equals to uh, 2a uh, cos kx. Okay, so meaning that you just take the uh, values here, over here. Alright, okay, and then I write. Okay, this one is 10 cos 2 over 3 uh, pi x. And here, the value of x is 2.6 meters. Substitute into the formula. Okay, so you substitute 10 cos 2 over 3 pi. Okay, x is 2.6. Okay, so you calculate. Okay, so you get... Uh, 6.69 meters. Okay, 3P, the equation of stationary wave is y as a function of x and t equals to 2 sine 3t cos 2x, where x and y in meters, and t in seconds. Determine the distance between a node and an adjacent antinod. And number 2, 2 adjacent nodes. Okay, so firstly, I write again the formula. Y equals to 2 sine 3t cos uh, 2x. Okay, so normally we have, uh, remember we have equation for standing wave. Y equals to uh, 2a uh, cos uh, kx uh, sine omega t. Okay, and then you write in this form. So, meaning that uh, you get y equals to uh, 2 cos cos 2x sine 3t. Okay, so this is the equation for standing wave. You just write again. Okay, and then what is the shape of the graph for this stationary wave? Okay, so I sketch. This is y, okay, and then this is x, okay. So, I will sketch the graph, okay. So, this one is uh, a, 2a, 2a means this is 2, uh, this one is negative 2, okay. So, I sketch the shape, okay. Alright, okay. This is the shape of the graph. Okay, so the question, uh, a node and adjacent, an adjacent antinode. Okay, so as we know, this is antinode. Uh, this one is node and over here antinode. Node, antinode. Okay, so as we know, the distance between antinod and nod is equal to what? Equals to lambda over 4. Okay, and then uh, uh, the distance between nod and antinod also lambda over 4. Uh, this one also lambda over 4. So the question as distance between a nod and an adjacent antinod. So meaning that nor and an addition and not meaning that we want to find out lambda over 4. Okay. So, uh, we have to find out lambda first. Okay. So, from this formula, 
where we can get lambda? Uh, lambda you can get from k, the value of k. Okay. So k equals to k equals to 2. k equals to 2. This one, uh, 2. So k equals to 2. But the formula of k, 2 pi over lambda equals to 2. So lambda equals to 2 pi over 2. So you get lambda, sorry, a pi. Unit, unit is in meters. Okay, all right. So we want lambda over 4. So lambda over 4, for number 1 is we want to get lambda over 4. So equals to lambda is pi. So pi over 4 equals to, uh, 1 over 4 means what? 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 pi meter okay all right now number two two adjacent knots okay look at this graph two adjacent knots okay so we need that between knot and knot uh, between knot and knot okay all right so knot and knot equals to what this one knot and knot ah uh, this one equals to lambda over two lambda over two Okay, so number 2, we want to find out lambda over 2. So, you just substitute. Lambda is pi over 2. So, 1 over 2 equals to 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 pi meter. For 10.5 Doppler effect, you will use the equation for Doppler effect. The equation is given by Fa equals V plus minus V naught V negative minus plus Vs times Fs. Fa is apparent frequency, frequency heard by the observer. V, velocity of sound, V naught, velocity of the observer. Vs, velocity of the source and Fs. Fs is the frequency of the source. Okay, over here, how to use the sign convention when you apply this formula? Okay, so over here is O. O is observer. S is source. Okay, over here is negative. This one is positive. O minus plus. If the observer move towards the source, the sign convention for observer, V observer, is positive. If the observer move away from the source, the sign convention for V naught is negative. Okay, so if the source move towards the observer, sign convention for Vs is negative. If the source Move away from the observer, so the sign convention for Vs is positive. Okay, question number 9. A, at a factory, a known whistle is sounding with a frequency of 500 Hz. As a car traveling at 85 km per hour okay, approaches the factory, the driver hears the whistle at frequency F1. After driving past the factory, the driver hears the whistle at a frequency F2. Okay, assume that the speed of sound is 331 meter per second. Okay, number one, what is the change in frequency F1 minus F2 heard by the driver? Number two, sketch the graph of apparent frequency against distant travel. Okay, so in this case, uh, a known whistle is sounding with a frequency of 500 Hz. Okay, this one is Fs. As a car traveling at 85 km per hour, so this one is V0. Okay, approaches the factory, traverses the whistle at frequency F1. Okay, after driving the past the factory, the driver uses the whistle at the frequency F2. So F1 and F2 is the frequency heard by the driver. Okay, so uh, what should we do? Okay, we find out what is F1 and F2. Okay, so in this case, okay, uh, since the driver is in the car, so this is the observer. Okay, the observer is the driver. So this one, let's say, uh, this is the factory. Okay, the factory is static, stationary factory. Okay, alright, and then produce a sound with frequency 500 hertz. 
Okay, and then over here there is car. Okay, so the car, the car move towards the factory. So V not. So this one is observer. The driver is the observer. Okay, alright. So V not is uh, 85 kilometers per hour. Okay, convert to SI unit. What you get? 85 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 3600. Okay, so you calculate what you get. You get 23.61 meter per second. Okay, alright. So in this case, uh, observer, sorry, uh, the source static, the observer move. Okay, so you will use observer. Okay, this one, remember, we use these tips. Negative as positive. Okay, in this case, observer move towards the uh, source. So, I draw. So, in this case, V0 should be positive. Okay, so we apply the formula. The formula is F apparent heard. Okay, apparent frequency is frequency heard by the observer. So, here is given as F1, right? Okay, so formula V plus, uh, this one plus Plus V0 over V times frequency of source. Okay, so we calculate, substitute the values. Okay, V is, uh, this is V. Okay, speed of sound. So, 331, okay, plus uh, V0, this one, uh, 23.61. Okay, divide by uh, 331 times uh, 500. So, uh, you calculate, you get uh, 5, 535.66 hertz. Okay, alright. Next, uh, next what is F2? Frequency heard by the driver as uh, after driving past the factory. So, meaning that this one driver move away from, from the source. Move away. So, uh, what is F2? Okay. Uh, let's say we sketch this one. We, we write this first. Observer, uh, this one active. This is S positive. In this case, uh, observer move away. So I draw move away. So V not. What is the sign convention? Negative. Okay, negative. So write the formula F2. So F2 equals to okay, V minus V not over V times Fs. Okay, substitute. So 3, 3, 1. Minus V0 is 23.61 divided by 331 times 500. So calculate, you get 4464.34 4, 4, hertz. Okay, so question number one, what is the change frequency F1 minus F2? So number one, eh? okay. F1 minus F2. So, you substitute the values. F1 is uh, 535.66 minus F2, 464.34. So, you calculate, you will get 71.32 hertz. Okay, F apparent frequency, FA. Okay, you need is hertz. Okay, against distance, okay, distance is x unit in uh, meters. We just put in meter as I unit. Okay, so over here is 500. Okay, and then uh, this one is uh, when the observer uh, move towards the source. So the value just now we calculate is 535.66. Okay, over here as when the observer move away, the value is 4, uh, 6, uh, 4.34. Okay, so uh, this one, eh? okay, sorry, sorry. Alright. Oh. Okay, I draw again, guys. This one. Okay, uh, this one. Eh? Okay, so I draw. So this one is straight line. Okay. And then... Over here until five, then this one when it move away straight line. 
Okay, uh, this one should be straight line. So I put the arrow here, arrow here, and then I label here. Observer, move towards. Okay, alright, and then this one is observer, move away. Okay, alright, and then over here is the stationary stationary source okay all right okay for b the frequency of an ambulance siren is 700 hertz okay so this one is the fs what are the frequencies heard by a stationary pedestrian okay so this is stationary pedestrian so this is the observer so observer equals to v not equals to zero Okay, as the ambulance approaches her at a speed of 90 km per hour. So, this one is Vs. Okay, and number two, uh, as the ambulance passes her at a speed of 90 km per hour. Okay, the same speed. Assume that speed of sound equals to 343 meter per second. Okay, let us sketch diagram. So, uh, here is the ambulance. Okay, alright. So, it produces sound. So, Fs. Fs is 700 Hz. Okay. And then, uh, the ambulance is moving. So, this one is Vs. So, Vs is 90 km per hour. So, we have to convert to SI unit. So, 90 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 3600. So, you get 25. So, Vs is 25 meter per second. Okay. So, in this case, uh, as the ambulance approaches her at a speed of 90 km per hour, means the source, okay, uh, move towards observer. Okay. So, I draw. This is observer. So, this is negative. This is source. Sorry. This is source. Alright. Source. And then positive. In this case, uh, the source move towards okay stationary pedestrian also this is the stationary v not v not equal to zero okay so use this one okay so in this case uh source move towards observer so i draw source move towards observer so meaning that vs is negative okay so we apply the formula frequency heard number one eh? frequency heard by the Observer. So F A equals to V. Alright. Uh, and then uh, this one V not is zero. So uh, plus zero. So plus zero. So over V. Right. This one is minus V S times F S. Okay. So substitute V. Uh, v is speed of sound three four three. So three four three. Minus 0 divided by 343 minus Vs. Vs is 25 times Fs is 700. So calculate, you will get 755.03 Hz. Okay, this is number 1. Number 2. So for number 2, uh, as the ambulance passes her as a speed of 90 km per hour, means this one move away. Okay, so I draw again. Observer, this is negative. This is source positive. So source move away from observer. So this one lah, to the right. Lah. So Vs should be positive. This one. So formula F from frequency equals to okay, V speed of sound plus 0. 0 because V observer is 0. Divide by okay, V, uh, this one plus V plus Vs. Fs. Okay, substitute the values. Okay, 3 for 3 plus 0 over 3 for 3 plus 25 times 700. So, calculate, you get 652.44 Hz. 
Alright, that's all from me. Thank you. Have a nice day.